Hello everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. So the very first thing that we're going to go ahead and start out with is figuring out where the eyebrow should begin, where the arch should be, and where exactly the eyebrow should end. So I did that with my good eyebrow, and now I'm going to do that with my bad eyebrow. So as you can tell, it should have been beginning right there where there's a lot of hair missing, and then that should be the arch of my brow, and then there's the end of my brow. So. So Anastasia Beverly Hill stencils is exactly what I use. Um, the stencil that fits me best is High Arch. So I'm gonna just go ahead and use that stencil from my good eyebrow to my bad eyebrow, and I'm just gonna kind of place it the best I can. And then we're gonna go ahead and just fill in that stencil so that we know exactly which hair we need to remove and which hair we're gonna go ahead and keep. So next I'm just applying the wax. Pretty much only going to apply the wax where I did not um, color in my brow. So next I'm just going to go ahead and rub that wax strip and remove it. So what I really like about that using the stencil is that it gives me a really nice curve. As you can tell, it's a really, really nice curve. So I'm going to put that stencil back on, make sure that it fit perfectly. Now I'm just using some coconut oil and I wiped off all the makeup. And now I'm just going to do the top. So I can't do the top and bottom at the same time because my eyebrows are actually thicker than the stencil. So I have to do the bottom and the top separately, but I'm doing the same exact thing at the top where I just put on the wax and then I'm gonna go ahead and remove the wax. Um, make sure to apply the wax towards the top first and then bring it down. You don't wanna start down and then pull it up or anything because you don't wanna remove more than what you need. So now I'm just going in with some tweezers, taking off any hair that's extra that I don't really want there, uh, don't really want there. Again, gonna use some coconut oil, remove that excess wax, remove any makeup that might have been left over. And now I'm gonna do the same thing with the bottom. So just gonna pluck out any hair that's on the bottom that shouldn't really be there. So as you can tell, the eyebrows really starting to shape, take some shape now. It's nice and curved. And now we're gonna do the filling in part. So I'm filling in my good brow, which Quite honestly, doesn't need a lot of help. I am using the Anastasia um, Brow Powder Duo. So the good brow, it's doing pretty good. It looks pretty good. Um, I love the curve on that brow. I just think it's a pretty good brow. So now um, the spoolie that I use is not much of a spoolie. It's actually a Clinique mascara brush that I cleaned up and I use. So that's pretty much what I was talking about there. Now we're gonna go ahead and work with the bad brow. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the measurement again. So that's where my brow should begin. So I'm gonna go ahead and begin filling in the bad brow, but I have to use the stencil because I just wanna make sure that it's pretty much placed to where it needs to be. And I just wanna make sure that it's gonna be as identical as it can be to the good brow. So I'm using the stencil right on top. The bottom I was pretty happy with, the top not so much, so I just used the top of the stencil just so that I can give myself more guidance. So pretty much, this is pretty self-explanatory, just gonna go ahead and fill in the rest of my brow. So I created some fake hairs towards the front so that it would not be so much, there would not be so much of a gap right in the middle of my two brows. And I'm just gonna continue filling in my bad brow. Again, the powder that I'm using for my brows is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Power Duo, and I use that in ebony. And of course, you want to use the darker shade towards the end of your brow and the lighter shade towards the front of your brow. And then, of course, use the spoolie to diffuse that color and just making some final, final changes with my finger there. And I don't use much of a technique. I just kind of fill it in as you saw, and I'm just kind of making sure that the measurements are correct, putting on the high arch and making sure that it fits. And so yeah, now I'm just making some corrections, making sure that they both look pretty similar. Always remember that eyebrows are not twins, they are sisters, so don't get too obsessed. Okay, so this is the final product. Hope you guys like this video. 